Hey guys, it's Steve Baker with Solidipitous again, and we're here at the desk with a new Halloween collection. Um, I'm pretty excited to show this one with you. I uh, show this one to you. I think you're really, really going to like this. Um, inspired by all good things um, and creepy things Halloween related. Uh, this particular fabric collection um, is called Ghouls and Goodies. Uh, it's from Moda Fabrics. And the designer, and Stacy, I apologize up front if I butcher your name. Stacy Iced Hasu. I hope I got that right. Um, if not, somebody please correct me. Um, I'm hooked on phonics, and that's the best I could come up with. I haven't actually heard Stacy's name uh, pronounced by anybody else, so there we go. All right, so in this particular collection, I'm going to give you some close-up images here in a little bit um, and give you some project ideals. So um, this particular collection um, features everything from one of my favorites, uh, Word Fabrics, and a little bit of a player there, so I may have to unwrap those for you before I give you some close-ups. Uh, literally, I just got this out of the box. This is how new this is. So... Um, Fabric uh, with words. We've got some fabric with mummies. And these are cute little guys. These are not too creepy. Um, the next one is, uh, this one is probably one of the primary pieces in this particular collection. And it's like a clothesline or a spider web with different elements of Halloween from black cats to jack-o'-lanterns, ghosts, um, and whatnot. Um, for those that hate spiders, um, you're not going to like this. Uh, this is a really cool uh, fabric with uh, little small spiders hanging from spider webs. Adds a little creepy crawly to the collection. We've got um, uh, a design with uh, little small pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns, rather. Um, and another one, this one is really cute. It's jack-o'-lanterns with uh, small black cats sitting beside those. And again, I'll show you a close-up. Uh, we have some designs with uh, creepy bats. And as for, for the goodies part of the collection, there are several different um, patterns here with uh, trick-or-treat candy. Um, so anyway, I'll be showing you some close-ups of those and um, I think you're really gonna like this. So I'm going to pause this here for just a second, do a little flip around here and we'll start talking about each piece of the fabric collection. Okay guys, so we're back on the other side of the desk after a tremendous amount of technical challenges. Um, I wanted to give you some closer up looks of this fabric, uh, Ghouls and Goodies. So here we've got uh, one of the um, accent uh, designs. This is on a purple background. Um, this, again, these are very difficult to, to sh really show on camera. Um, little jack-o'-lanterns with uh, the black cat, again with the purple background. We've got with the dark gray and the white, uh, which happens to be my favorite. I really, really like with the white background. Okay. Next we have fabric with words. As you guys watched my last video, you know that fabric with words is one of my uh, favorite types of designs. Uh, trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. You may remember this um, saying as a, as a child or here, I guess kids still say that today. Um, I hope they haven't lost it. It's kind of funny and cute when you're five. Um, so we have that with the um, white background with the black text. We have the white background with the orange text. We have orange background and this really nice dark gray background. So I really like the fabric with words. Um, and these are good for all different types of projects. Um, you know, here, with Halloween, there's an endless uh, variety of things that you can do with these fabrics. Uh, decorative pillows, uh, table runners. I think these look really, really good on, on placemats or like hot pads, mud rugs, that type of thing. I think it's a good suggestion for those. Now, this collection is called Ghouls and Goodies, and so I want to show you some of the goodies. We have the orange background with a variety of trick-or-treat candy. 
See the little candy corns? Uh, these look like Smarties. Um, these I can never remember. Kind of a maple flavor, if I remember, that we used to have as a kid. I haven't seen them in a while. Um, purple background with the candy and white background. Okay, so let me set these to the side. Now we're coming up on the mummies. Halloween would not be complete without some of our more scary, well-known characters. Uh, but this guy's actually pretty cute. These are the little mummies here. Um, every so often you'll see one of them standing with a, uh, the little mouse beside, beside of them. So that one is the dark gray background. You have this one with the orange and the black background. So cute, cute little fella. Now, one of the primary pieces of the collection. Show you this with the orange background first. It's kind of like a little clothesline made out of spider webs. Um, you got your jack-o'-lanterns, your little uh, trick-or-treat containers. We got some ghosts, bats. Um, a lot of the characters that you see in, throughout some of the, um, the other designs in this particular collection. So this one's with the orange background. Comes with the purple. The gray. Which I really do like this gray. And the white background. Let me lower this down a little bit for you. I want to make sure that comes in, comes in good. Okay. Now, let's move on to, I don't think we've covered this guy yet. Again, I've done this a few times, so um, <laughs> I can't remember where I left off. So this, uh, for those who you who love spiders, or those of you who um, cringe, uh, might want to steer away from this one, but the... Um, Cute little Halloween uh, spider dangling from the spider web. And we have those in the orange background. Again, in the purple. Purple lovers love, are going to love this collection. Black. And I think this is actually a very elegant looking um, design in, in person. Even though it has spiders on it. And I know it sounds crazy to say anything with spiders is kind of elegant. But um, I really, really do like this. Um, so if you're going for more of an upscale, upscale look in your Halloween decor, I think this works well. So that one was the dark gray and again the white background with spiders. Alright, so let me move those out of the way and bring over these smiling little guys. These are jack-o'-lanterns with white backgrounds. The purple and classic black. Let me move this down a little bit. Maybe it'll focus a little better. Again, um, any type of ha um, Halloween decor or Halloween projects that you have, these would be great for. Um, I was on Pinterest earlier and I saw um, some Halloween aprons that I thought looked really cool with a, a variety of um, Halloween fabric design. Now I want to show you the ones with the bats. Um, of the bats, this one actually is my favorite. Um, it's a black background with the gray bats and these orange moon and stars uh, just make this, just give a little bit more of a dramatic look to this particular design. Um, I don't know, the orange, uh, the orange moon just really pop out. So we have that in black. Purple, we have the light gray with the black bats, and we have the orange. All right. So that completes most of the um, different designs in this particular collection. I do have a couple more things that I want to show you, and I'm going to um, switch the camera around again and figure out the best way of doing that. So hang with me. All right, guys. So I want to show you this last piece. Um, and I will do my best to explain this without getting myself too tongue-tied. 
Um, this is a Halloween panel. It's a cut and sew piece that you can use to make um, trick-or-treat loot bag bags. Um, just a little container for the kids to carry um, carry their, their candy in. And um, also has a few other little um, pieces about it. But let me see if I can turn this around and show you. So up at the top, you'll have all your directions. Again, it's just a cut and sew piece. So you can make um, bats, uh, stuffed bats. You've got your uh, loot uh, container or bag. This one is black with um, the little jack-o'-lanterns on it. And you can also do one with the big jack-o'-lantern on it. So there's a few different pieces uh, to this. There's also a black cat um, that you can cut and sew. Stuff it if you want. Um, so anyway, this panel is another uh, complimentary um, not complimentary, um, is another addition to, to this particular fabric. Um, you know, if you're looking for a different type of um, Halloween project to do. So I'm, I'm going to glance over here at my computer so you know what I'm doing because you know I've got the memory of a gnat. Um, I'm the first <laughs> to, to admit it. So um, several ideals for a lot of these different fabrics. Um, I, we may have mentioned earlier, uh, of course, decorative pillows. Um, uh, each year, decorating your home for Halloween seems to grow in popularity. Um, and if you go onto Pinterest, guys, there's no shortage of ideals and inspirations out there for um, for Halloween projects. So um, I jotted a few down: uh, decorative pillows, um, trick or treat bags. Um, even if you you know the the uh, cut and sew project here that I mentioned, uh, you know, that you can purchase as one option. But with any of these fabrics, you can make an infinite variety of trick-or-treat bags or just decorative um, uh, bags that you can carry with you during during uh, the Halloween season. Um, so table runners, wall hangers for decor, obviously quilts. Um, I saw a variety of uh, projects on Pinterest with stuffed animals or stuffed Halloween characters where uh, people did, you know, like uh, mummies or vampires, black cats, bats, um, uh, zombies, any any number of Halloween characters that uh, sewers and quilters have designed out there. And uh, some of these uh, particular fabrics would look really, really good um, in one of those projects. So I think I may have mentioned Halloween aprons. I can't remember if it was on um, this version or the previous version of the video that uh, we had the technical issues with and we had to start over again. So Halloween aprons. Um, Halloween themed wrapped boxes for treasures or treats. I'm totally into this whole fabric wrapped boxes uh, right now. And what a special way of giving um, a Halloween gift, Halloween treat. Um, you know, to someone you're close to. Um, even little, I mean, if you've got tons of time on your hand, you know, even, you know, little mini boxes with um, stuff with candy for your trick-or-treaters if you wanted to do something, you know, kind of out, outside the box. Uh, so, yeah, consider, consider that for uh, one of your Halloween projects. Um, mantle scarves. Um, I didn't even realize there was a thing called mantle scarves, and shame on me. But um, there, I ran across some Halloween scarf ideals on Pinterest uh, that looked amazing, where people were taking, uh, you know, different pieces from um, Halloween collections and cutting those and designing those in such a way where they drape over top of the mantle. Um, you know, I'm, of course, I'm used to seeing that, you know, for Christmas, um, but. Again, people are taking their Halloween decor up a notch year after year, and some of those uh, mantle pieces were really, really nice. Um, you can also incorporate the fabric into uh, different types of Halloween costumes. And, of course, you know, I had hoped back in March we wouldn't be talking about this come Halloween, but, you know, Unfortunately, the pandemic is still with us, and um, face masks have become a necessary part of you know our new reality. So, um, what a great way to celebrate Halloween and you know 
spiffy up your uh, Plano face mask or face coverings with a Halloween thing one. Uh, might as well bring a little joy into um, this not so joyful uh, state that we're in right now. So anyway, there, those are some of the ideals um, that I had jotted down for you guys. Again, I hope you like this collection. Again, it's called uh, Ghouls and Goodies. Um, I'll put the links below uh, where you can check those out. And uh, two other Halloween collections that I really, really like. Uh, my favorite um, is All Hallows' Eve. Um, again, these are all Moda fabrics. Um, all Hallows' Eve, which is kind of a... I, I call it a more elegant, more a little bit more upscale. It's not so much a whimsical, traditional Halloween uh, fabric design, but it incorporates all the colors um, of Halloween and fall into some beautiful, uh, beautiful designs in that collection. And the other one, um, Midnight Magic, um, again, and I'll put those uh, links for you. So we actually have three Halloween collections right now um, that we are simply in love with. This one, Ghouls and Goodies, is our newest, and um, I hope you will take time to check it out. If you've got any questions, please let us know. Um, we're at sellendipitous.com. Um, I think most of the links I'll probably put out there may be to our Etsy shop, uh, but you can check us out on um, Etsy uh, under Sellendipitous Goods, and our website is sellendipitous.com. Um, so, S-E-O, end, it, it, us. Um, that's how I learned how to spell it. So, sellendipitous.com. Uh, <laughs> Guys, I hope you have an amazing Halloween, um, as you know, obviously with e every other holiday. But, you know, with summer, who can believe it? Summer is already coming to an end, and we're talking Halloween fabric here. Um, 2020 has been one for the record, record books for sure. But um, if you can find time to do the type of things that you enjoy, it will make this time go by even faster and take your mind off of, you know, all the stuff happening in, in, in the crazy world. And let's get back to focusing on something fun for a little bit. And, uh, you know, we all need a distraction more than more than ever. And Halloween probably can't come soon enough. So I think this year I'm going to embrace the uh, some of these new Halloween decorating ideals that I've seen. And uh, I don't know, I might even go crazy with some Halloween lights and, and those type of things outside, which is something I haven't done before. So, um, and any projects, by the way, that you guys do, um, and you don't, whether you got the fabric from us or, or, or from somewhere else, we love it when you buy it from us, obviously. But share your um, ideals uh, on our Facebook page. Um, you can find us on Sodipitas or our Sodipitas group, which is probably the best place um, to post those. Uh, that way they go directly into the feed. Um, it's called Sisters of Sodipitas. And again, it's a Facebook group. Just request to join. We would love to have you guys there. Um, sharing ideals and asking questions and you know just teaching each other and really coming together and crafting fellowship so that's it for today um, I hope you enjoyed this I hope the editing process on this video goes well um, who knows what the, <laughs> the, the ending may look like so until next time